it's so fancy now. It makes me laugh every time it does that. All right, you guys. So I just want to tell you seriously from the bottom of my heart, thank you, thank you, thank you for showing up to this call today. Like it, it means the world to me. Um, I have a lot uh, to share with you guys that's been on my heart and kind of what I've been working on. So first, I want to clear some things up for you guys, because I know there's been a lot going on. I just want to make sure that all of us as the leaders are on the same page. Okay, so um, first, Anita, your diamond shirt has been sent out. So I just want to make sure that you knew that I, I thought I sent you that message. I just there's been so many messages. I got it. You got it. Okay, good. I got the message. I haven't gotten the shirt yet. But oh, okay. <laughs> okay, good. So let me know when you get it so we can confirm that that's been done. Okay, so Anita ranked to diamond. Her diamond shirt is on the way. Let's all, you know, give her a big shout out because um, that's not easy to do, right? We all know that. So I just want to make sure that you knew that that was out. Um, and then the Memorial Day challenge that we have going on. The winners are going to be announced next Wednesday, okay? I do advise that you guys all go in and look at your own people, okay? Um, check and see when, if they logged in on every Wednesday, make sure they followed all the requirements, okay? They logged in every Wednesday, they posted on their Facebook, just everything, just go through all of that. I have my assistant going through it too, but it is gonna help to have extra eyeballs on it, okay? Cause you never know if somebody misses something. I just want you guys to be accountable for your own people too. So go through that over the weekend. Once my assistant sends me everybody who qualified, um, she should be getting that to me by tomorrow. I will send that to you guys and we will all look through everything together with the winners to be announced on Wednesday, okay? Do you guys have any questions on that for the Memorial Day Challenge? Nope, okay, perfect. All right, now um, let's see what else. <clears throat> that, oh, diamond jackets. So y'all know the, it was last year already. <laughs> 2021, I can't believe um, the diamond jackets that we were working on. Um, okay, so I had chose them, I submitted them, and the company that I submitted to closed down during COVID. So I had to completely revamp everything. So I finally found a new company that I thought was going to be great. I submitted, and, and this is not an easy process because you want the right wording, you want the right fabric, whatever. I submitted, ordered one jacket before I ordered all of you guys' jackets because I wanted to make sure. And thank God that I did because when I got the jacket, it was a piece of shit. <laughs> so I was like, that I, really, I was so upset. I was like, all right, it was not the same fabric that they said that it was going to be. It was not, it was awful. Nate laughed. He was like, that was awesome. So, anyways, thankfully I did that. I've now since went through three other companies. I have finally nailed it down to one. And so that is in the process, I promise you. And I'm so sorry that it has taken so long to get that to you guys, okay? But I just want you to know that it is a work in progress and it is there. Do you guys have questions on the jacket? Okay, all right. Okay, um, the Tahoe trip. <laughs> Everything happened during COVID again. So um, the, the, when we ranked Diamond, all those that were, that were in that challenge, and I believe that was Leticia, that was Sharon, who else that was, who else was on there? Veronica, um, and I believe that was it, right? Lilia was on, wasn't she? Yeah, was but it Jamie? It was, they, I don't think Lilia made it for Diamond on that round, but I, I could be confused. Yeah. I got to go back and make sure. Mm -hmm. um, though that is still in works too now i went down to tahoe about three weeks ago to look through everything the airbnbs that i want to get are not available right now because of the direct the, the still things with COVID and everything and the um the things that i want to do with you guys like going out on lake with the boat like the whole thing it's still requiring masks so i would say that we wait a little bit longer. Now, I do wanna go during summer, so I just don't know how that's gonna play out. But for those of you that did make that, let's get on a separate call. Let's really dial that in. Let's figure out what you guys want. Cause I just want it to be great. I don't wanna to have to go to Tahoe and wear a mask. I want you guys to truly enjoy that experience. And, and you know, you worked hard to get that um, it locked in. So I just want to make it the best as, as possible for you guys. So if you can bear with me and be patient on that, um, and then let's get on and figure out exactly what we want and when we want to go. Okay. Is that okay? Okay. 
because Tahoe is amazing, you guys, and you don't want to wear a mask. <laughs> okay. Um, so any other, any questions so far from you guys? Hopefully I'm getting kind of everything in line for you guys because I know everything's kind of been lingering lately, right? All right. So the boss up um, and bet on you mentorship that I sent last night, that link that I sent. Let me explain kind of what went down in the last like five days. And if I cry, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, okay, so obviously you guys all know we were pushing for elite last year. And you guys, we came so close and I'm so dang proud of you guys, so proud. And then what happened with my son in November and December was a big hit. Our team literally fell out of elite by only 14 points. I don't know if you guys all know that. And I just want, I want you to, I want to screen share because I want you guys <clears throat> to truly believe what I'm saying. And I know that you do, but I just want to back it up. So um, if you look over here, here is right here on the right. You guys see that? That's my corporate mentor, Sydney Maurer. She just sent me this message yesterday because I, I wanted to confirm. She says right there, we lost by 14 points, 14 points. Okay. And now granted, <clears throat> you know, a lot of stuff happened. I had a lot of stuff going on, but you guys were still pushing for it for me. You really were. And I appreciate that so much. And the fact that we lost out by 14 points, that was a win to me. Like we still, we got elite you guys and we didn't get a chance to celebrate it. We worked really hard for that. So I'm sharing this because I haven't taken the time to celebrate because of what happened. And I just need you guys to know how much I appreciated that moment that you guys really fought for me and for the team. Like you guys pulled through so hard and I love you so much for that. And when she told me again that it was, I thought it was like, 22 points when it was 14 I was just like oh my gosh we had it we had a lead so I'm sharing that because I, summit happened and I've had all this energy again from summit and it just reminds me again of course every year why I love this so much and I'm so excited to go to summit with you guys again and I'm so happy you guys all registered because it's so much energy and fun but after summit all the elite coaches, and I'm sure you've seen, have been getting their elite gifts, right? Did you guys see them? They got their huge packages with their, their custom-made sneakers with their team names on them and just everything. And I'm watching from the sidelines, just kind of angry, right? Trying not to be, because it was a big goal we were pushing for. But I know things happened out of my control, right? So... I've been kind of quiet on that end and the, the um, groups that I'm in with the top coaches, they, they've been supporting me this whole time and they sent me cards and flowers last week telling me that even though we missed it by 12 points, they think our team and as a lead team and they, they just, the stuff that they said just broke me down and made me so incredibly grateful for this community. And so it took me two days to kind of gather my feelings again. And, and you know, I was, I've kind of lost a little momentum since December, but our team is still building and pulling together. Well, I made a proposal to the group, to the, the corporate group. And I said something I would absolutely love to work on. And I want to know if anybody would like to dive into this with me. And that was creating a training a rank up training for our teams where the entire community comes together and we're not just working as separate teams. The response that I got was unbelievable. I had so many people messaging me, all the top coaches saying they wanted in on this. Last night, Christine Dwyer sent me a private message and I about lost my shit because I felt like I had bought off or a bought or what's the saying? I bit off more than I could chew. I literally was having a panic attack last night because her team is so large. <laughs> so I've created this training and it's the boss up and bet on you training. They are all going to be a part of it. They're all going to go in and do um, private trainings for us in the group. It's, this is my baby. This is for you guys. 
I've created this for you guys. I don't care about their, their teams. I don't care. You know, it's neat that we're all coming together, but I'm doing this for you guys. So I really, really want you to be a part of this and give it a shot. Okay. So it, it's a $25 buy-in. You buy in at the coach rank that you are right now. So if you're a brand new coach, you're going to click the link that says uh, non-diamond coach. Okay. It's all, it's for everybody. It's for any coach that wants to level up in their business. I am so overwhelmed and excited about this. Like I can't even put it into like words. Like I, I'm, like I said, I feel like I've bit off more than I can chew and I'm extremely nervous about it, but I really need you guys to be a part of it so that you can help back me up because after Christine added all her people, I was just like, okay, this is getting out of control. I'm a little scared. I'm on, I'm being totally honest with you guys. I'm a little scared. Nate's like, whoa, what's happening? I'm like, I don't know, but I'm going with it because I feel like this is supposed to happen. Okay. So do you guys have any questions on how it's going to be run? Anything? <clears throat> and I'm sorry for all the tears. <laughs> no, okay. Um, so are you guys in with me on this training? Are you guys going to jump in and be a part of this? Okay, I appreciate that so much because I'm doing, because honestly, I was thinking about last time, like, well, I, I've been spending like two weeks creating all the content, reaching out to all the top coaches, getting everything confirmed, setting up the links, blah, blah, blah. And then at, at the same time, I'm like, wait a minute, what if my team doesn't even want to do this with me? What is that going to do for me? <laughs> I'm like, wait, what am I doing? So I had to slow down for a minute. I'm like, wait, I need to get my team on a call so they understand what we're doing. Because I always think whatever I'm creating, you guys are just going to do, right? That's just what I'm thinking but the reality is maybe you guys don't want to so I kind of freaked out last night and I was like all right I need to get them on a call because they don't know what's going on <laughs> so I did <laughs> so that's what's happening right now okay and I just I I love you guys and that's really I just wanted to get on and make sure everything was in line and you guys are ready to kick that off with me okay so if you haven't registered registered if you I do recommend that you use these next two weeks because it doesn't start until August 2nd. And we did that so that we have time to get our babies back in school. All the mamas have time to kind of organize, create our game plan. Um, we are gonna go in and show you guys exactly how to create a marketing plan for the next three weeks. So there's gonna be the diamond blueprint. There's gonna be a marketing plan they're coming in. Um, Brittany Leggett's going to come in, Christine Dwyer, like all of the big names are coming in and they're going to be doing Facebook live inside the group to give you guys trainings. Okay. Um, and then uh, what I met was over these next two weeks to try and recruit new coaches as much as possible, because if you can get new coaches into this, <clears throat> that is the absolute best thing that you can do because they're going to get trained for the next three weeks as a brand new coach from the top elite coaches in the entire network, like the best thing for them, right? You're just throwing them in and saying, hey, if you wanna be a part of this, this is gonna take you the top fast, right? So even if that only is one new coach that you add, focus on that. Try to add a new coach in the next two weeks and get them in this training, okay? Reach out to some of your past coaches too that maybe aren't active right now, and say, hey, I just want to send you a quick message. We are doing a new coach mentorship program starting August 2nd. I wanted to reach out and see if you're ready to dive either back into the business or get started for the first time. Okay. Hi, Tiffany. Hi, Veronica. I love you guys. I, I have this recorded so you guys can go back and watch and go through everything that we went through. So you guys are all on the same page with us. Um, any questions, concerns, anything? Yeah, Rachel. Um with the, I was looking into it a little bit, but maybe you can just clarify with the bets and the side bets, is it, um, is it based on a point system? So like, say, um, I jump up a couple of stars, I get like two or three star in the time of this. Is it just still, did you rank advance period or is it Correct. So it's honestly super simple? If you rank, you get a cut of the pot period. So there's no like, it's because it used to be like, you have to add four coaches, you've got to add two new emeralds, and then you've got to rank. Well, we did a lot of talking on that topic. And we thought, you know what, 
why are we actually, so let's just use this for example, if there's a one star that's trying to get back to two star, why are we punishing them by saying, okay, now you've got to add six new coaches and two new emeralds when really they just need to get back to one star or two star. Right, so that was creating really too much and, and unnecessary, unnecessary pressure too. Right, I wanted this to be something where people get wins and feel good about their business again. So I wanted to keep it simple. So to answer your question, if you rank in the pot that you registered, you're gonna get a cut of that pot. And I'm telling you guys, the pots are gonna be huge because we've got so many large teams coming in, large teams. Okay, so you guys know. Christine Dwyer is like the grand, great, great, great grandmother in the company. She is one of the very first coaches. So like we are technically in her downline. Yes. As is probably every other coach you've ever talked to. So that's, that's huge. It's huge. And so, and the funny thing was, is that when she, when I added her to the group, everybody kind of got silent. Like it was, it was the strangest thing because everybody was like, whoa, Christine's in here. Now what do we say? And then I had people sending me private messages. What is happening right now? I'm like, I don't even know. <laughs> We're going with it. <laughs> and then Scotty was very impressed because this is kind of based, I don't know if you guys remember, but the holiday hustle that we did maybe two years back, a lot of you were in, a lot of it is based off of that training too. So we pulled a lot of that material. So Scotty was excited to be a part of this too. Um, and if you guys know, Scotty, first of all, I don't have an upline. You guys all know that, right? Everybody knows that. So it's always hard to, to get these things moving and create my own content, but I have the drive and I've always had it. And Scotty was always a coach that no matter what, I could reach out to him and say, hey, can I get in your group? Can I get in your training? And he has always, always been. so I've never forgot that. And so when I put this together, I sent him a message and I said, hey, this is what I got going on. You've always allowed my team in your trainings. Do you want your team to be part of this? He's like, absolutely. So kind of where he falls into, he's kind of like my dad's coach, <laughs> I guess. All right. So that's it, you guys. Um, I love you. I appreciate you. I think this is going to be kind of out of control and it's just, it, there's going to be so much excitement happening in the group. So make sure you register. And if you have questions on which you need to register in, it, it should be all very simple and explained in the details in there. Okay. Anything else you guys need or want? Oh, I know Veronica, she, she's, I don't see her face on here, but she had asked about the, the Ashley shop hosting guides. Okay. Do you guys all understand how to use those? Because I know Veronica has some questions on it. Veronica, if you can unmute yourself, go ahead, honey. Um. I can hear you. I just can't, I see your face. Oh, so, so I'll just go ahead and explain. Mm -hmm. oh. So the, that content is just there for you to either copy and paste as a guide on the days that you have no idea what to post, right? Or you can schedule in those posts to make your posting a breeze. Now, a lot of coaches get confused because they're like, well, that doesn't sound like something I would say, or that doesn't sound like my wording. Reword it. You're supposed to make it so that it sounds like you just use it as a guide. And I'll tell you, it makes a world of difference. Keeping this business so simple to have those guides. I am now purchasing them every month. And that's why I requested that you guys all pay $10 to, cause it was like 50, 49. Um, so that we can, we all have access to it. And then I made it simple enough in a PDF that you guys can now do it directly from your phone to copy and paste to Facebook, which is a lifesaver. Um, but again, add your own photos. So it has example pictures and exactly how the post is supposed to look, right? Take some of that wording, recreate it, put your own photo up and boom, you now have a professional post, okay? These posts that she created are done by an actual marketer who markets companies, businesses, sales. So the way that they are strategically planned out is to get your followers on board with your story, with your products, with purchasing, with signing up. Okay, that's how those play out. So any questions on how to use that? <clears throat>
No. And again, you want it to be your own content. You want your content to be as much as you as possible, right? They're just a guide. You change it, reword it, add, slap a different picture on. And uh, Sharon, your pictures that you've been adding, I'm just like, oh, it's so good. <laughs> it's been so good. It's, it's so neat to see that. And you've been doing yours like every morning. So it's like the first thing that I see. That was something, okay, really quick. Something else I wanted to talk about. We did a training on the best times to post on Facebook. I have always posted like first thing in the morning, right? Over the last two months since summer, um, some of the other coaches had recommended that I post at night about eight o'clock. And I was like, what? So here's what they said and what they found out through some of their testing. You're looking for your ideal customer. Okay. For me, my ideal customer is a mom that has just got done with dinner and has now got her kids in bed and is laying in bed on her phone about eight o'clock. And all she's doing is scrolling and she's reading. And I have now switched my post to about 7.30, 8 o'clock and it has made a world of difference. And I cannot believe how much difference it's been from the, the, re the responses I'm getting from the type of people that I'm looking for. So I'm sharing that because I want you to start thinking about that. Who are you looking for? And when are those people on their phone? Okay. For me, some are on first thing in the morning because I'm a morning person, right? I'm getting my workout. And so I like to throw one post out in the morning. And then for me, when my kids are in bed, I'm in my bed on my phone. And that's when I get my next post out. So think about that. Okay. Look for your ideal customer. And yours may look different than mine. You're we're not, you don't, it doesn't have to be a mom, you know, it can be whoever, whoever that you're looking for, but think about what they're doing in their day and their downtime when they're on their phone. Take, when are they shopping on their phone too? Right. When, when are you shopping on your phone? Are you shopping on your phone? Think about that. <laughs> for me, I, I do shop at night. <laughs> it's like my time when I'm relaxed and I can focus, I'm laying there in bed. So things to think about. Okay. All right. I hope this was helpful for you guys. I love you. I appreciate you. I'm proud of you. Just all the things. And I'm so excited to rock this next training off with you guys. Um, and again, Veronica and Tiffany, please go back to the beginning because I shared went my heart with you guys and I want you on the same page. And I also went over the diamond jackets and the Tahoe retreat if you guys missed that. Okay. All right. Love you. Take care. And let's take a picture. <laughs> <clears throat> Ah, oh, Tiffany, I love seeing you on here. This makes me so happy. <laughs> I want to get to see you tomorrow night. Tiffany's coming to Vegas. Yay! <laughs> I'm excited. Ew. Awesome, honey. All right, babes. I love you. Take care. <clears throat>